What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do a toolbox tour of my Matco 4S. Uh, the box is my first actual major box when I decided to become a mechanic. Um, pretty nice. Flat black. I like it. Um, so let's start with the top drawer. So the top drawer is basically the wrenches, uh, torque wrenches, pipe wrench, big wrenches, Long handle uh, boxing ratchet corn wear wrenches, pretty awesome tool. Um, pictures that I haven't put up since we moved shop. Union book, you guys in the union know about that. In any union know about that. First aid kit. Um, it's the top drawer. Oh, torque wrenches. Don't forget torque wrenches. Very very important. All three are snap on. Then I have a little Craftsman just in case something happens to my other one. Pliers, uh, kind of packed, jam packed. Never had too many pliers, and I'm, yeah. At least that's what I thought before I pushed up on too many pliers. Another wrench drawer. These are more of the smaller, everyday use. Well, backup everyday use wrenches. Uh, there's some Snap-on, Blue Point, Snap-on. The Sunix got from Amazon. Martin, I actually got off. There's a Snap-on truck, another brand that they sell. Um, I call them hydraulic wrenches. I don't know the, the real term for them. A little shorty, thin profile. Pretty good for working on bucket trucks and whatnot, which is what I do pretty much all day. Um, hammer drawer, hammer punch, just the beat it up drawer. Everything in here is meant to beat something. Uh, that's probably my favorite hammer there from Cornwell. Uh, the name is probably the reason it's my favorite. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's just the beat em up drawer. Let's see. This is kind of a catch all. There's all the odd tools that don't really have a home anywhere else. Uh, drill bits, uh, thread chaser. More thread chasers, um, extractor kit, master cylinder bleed, uh, seven pin plug clicker, hacksaws under there somewhere, snap gauge or yeah, snap gauges, file set, snap on, um, brick tools this is mostly a brick drawer, but it catches a little bit of everything. Rivet gun, next. All the air tubes, there's some missing. They're out on various things that I was working on today. Uh, Matco Impact, Matco Impact. A lot of snap-on stuff in here. Snap-on air hammer, um, die grinder. Just a jumbled up mess of air tubes. And this is the three-quarter set. Three-quarter impact. Cornwell, Cornwell three-quarter sockets from what, one in, nine sixteenths to two inches and then this is an inch to ah uh, let's see i don't think i open this one open an inch to an inch and a half uh, and there's the cornwell gun three quarter inch ratchet this is the power stuff drawer um, you got an angle grinder, Dewalt, uh, some snap on 18 volt stuff. There's the impact, the top I was using it today. Uh, flashlight or spotlight, pretty bright. Um, snap on 14 volt stuff. Let's see, it's a quarter inch impact, um, 3 inch drill, and a cordless screwdriver. Um, soldering iron in there somewhere. Uh, what you call it, an inverter, I guess. Um, heat gun. Like I said, this box isn't organized too well at all. It's basically ran out of space. I have so much stuff, it's hard to organize it. Um, electrical slash diagnostic drawer. There used to be a multimeter in here, it died. So I got a new one, it's in my service cart. Um, test leads. Something pushed me. It's the 
a big set of leads, different uh, connectors on the end that you might need to poke and prod things. Uh, AC light, check for leaks. Um, the glasses that go with it, wire that I use on different things. I don't have to go to the parts counter every time I need it. Two sets of terminal tools. Oh, that didn't go too well. Screwdriver drawer, nut drivers, screwdrivers, self-explanatory, impact screwdriver, pick set, torch set, so T-handle torch set. That's the impact screwdriver. Pretty awesome. We barely used it. Uh, <laughs> sockets. Sockets and more sockets. All kinds of sockets and wrenches and speed handles and all kinds of goodies. saw that one's pliers. Uh, this is a little Silver Eagle 3 impact set. Pretty awesome. Got it from one of our apprentices. Pretty cheap. And we're going to move over to the Junkie Junkie service cart. So this is basically a catch-all from whatever that happens through the day. So, yeah, I think most of our service carts are. Uh, that's just a kind of a junk drawer. It has a few tools in there. More pliers. These are pretty awesome. We'll get you a set there from Nippets. The, I don't even, let's see, where is the part number? Okay, I don't know where the part number is, but they're pretty awesome. Here's a smaller set. Cobra, that's why they're Nippets Cobras. Um, Wrenches, Matco, uh, metric standard, filter strap wrench, a banana hammer. That's what I call it anyway. I like the yellow stuff from Snap On. Um, little mallet, and then the another favorite hammer. And that's my multimeter set, a screwdriver and pick set. It's pretty awesome. I've used it so much I had to tape the case up. Just throw it in your pocket and go. And a bunch of more sockets, all kinds of sockets, impacts, just about everything I need. Probably too much because I don't use all of it on a daily, but it's good to have it just in case you run into that oddball. Um, I love this ratchet snap ohms 3 8 14 volt battery. It's probably the one I use the most ever since I've gotten it. Um, Another reason I decided to do this is because I got a new present today. This guy. So my new toolbox finally came in. It, after about two months of waiting, it's a Snap-on 84 inch Epic. It is gorgeous. I can't wait to start. Actually, I've already started loading it. I loaded all the plastic cases just to see how many I can get in there from my uh, cabinet. So I think right now I'm about 14 in or something like that. So I can't wait to start loading the rest of it. Uh, long story short, I basically just ran out of space and decided to bump up to something bigger when the Rock and Roll Express uh, toolbox truck came to shop. So this is it. I'll probably do another update in a couple of weeks once I start loading it up to, I guess, for you guys to see the process. This is my first video, so I'm hoping it gets better. Forgive me for being a little jumpy and not being able to hold the camera too straight, but it's a work in progress. I appreciate you guys. Bye.